The Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre is a unique blend of industry, government and research partners who come together delivering applied research for Australian industry. For many, providing social housing for those in need of assistance is obvious. This research will further show, however, why it's not only good for the individual in terms of their health, getting an education and finding a job, but it's also good for the community and for national productivity. We intend to find out just how much this is worth. It's obviously more than just shelter, but how much? This project, Rethinking Social Housing, aims to identify and count the benefits to tenants, the broader economy, to government through extra revenues and to the environment and the community. We are Australia's largest affordable housing provider under the National Rental Affordability Scheme, which is a government tax incentive scheme to stimulate private investment in affordable housing. This is really important research because at a time when public resources are so scarce and contestable, and at a time when housing needs are rising and are much more complicated, with 100,000 people homeless every night, 300,000 people on social and affordable housing waiting lists. The wait's getting longer, the service is getting shorter, we're not actually meeting the need. Part of the reason why governments are reluctant to make further investment in housing is a lack of understanding about what are the actual outcomes they're paying for. The investment in housing is very expensive. We want to get a better understanding not just of what good investment in housing looks like and what it delivers back to the taxpayer, but what it does across non-housing outcomes. Our Rethinking Social Housing project is seeking to provide a different perspective on how we view social housing delivery and policy making. Instead of a conversation about the cost to the community of providing social housing, we are looking to say what are the benefits to both the tenants, the community and also at a national level. We are looking at this through four different perspectives. The first of these is from the tenant's perspective and how having safe and secure housing can provide them with better opportunities for employment, education and health improvement. The second perspective is then from a macroeconomic point of view and the benefits of having increased construction in the housing sector. Then there's the fiscal benefits to the nation at large of having people better engaged in both their communities and the workforce. And finally, looking at it from an environmental and a social capital perspective. The next stage of the project has been to look at the broader impacts of social housing provision to the community and develop a national set of indicators. To do this we've had to think through what are the, the broader impacts of social housing provision to the community and how do we measure these impacts. This has involved looking at indicator sets both at the individual, household and community level. Some of these indicators include things like employment rates, educational attainment rates, hospitalisation rates and then other more broader community impacts such as productivity rates, construction rates, access to public transport, urban design indicators and then trying to link these sorts of measures to particular household characteristics. The next stage is taking this indicator set and then applying it to two case studies, one in Queensland and one in Western Australia. Access Housing Australia Limited is a not-for-profit community housing provider we provide affordable rental accommodation for low to moderate income earners. This research, I think for us, it will be really good in providing that quantitative evidence as to the impacts on our tenants. We have a lot of knowledge in this area and it's good for other organisations to share their skills and their networks and their expertise to really provide us with that evidence to show what we're doing is a benefit to the community at large. We know the benefits that a stable housing environment can have on an individual and it's getting those cost benefits analysis fed through right through to Treasury to show the best way to do that both efficient through efficiencies and the most effective way to produce a very good community benefit by providing safe affordable housing for people who can't afford it traditionally. We're interested in increasing and diversifying the supply of affordable housing for people on low to moderate incomes. So this takes a range of forms from public housing through to your affordable land developments, affordable rentals in the full market and affordable purchases. 
So we know intuitively that there are actually benefits to public housing aside from having a roof over your head. But to actually be able to quantify those and get some sort of idea as to the social benefits as well as economic benefits is a really great thing for the Housing Authority to have. It's actually that it gives us another lens and another focus for when we're actually making policy decisions or development decisions. It provides that evidence base that we haven't had before. So once we've established our indicator set, which Annie has spoken about, we then need to be sure that the indicators we are selecting actually have links back to the outcomes that we are wanting from the better delivery of social housing. So this means that we're now looking into the causal relationships and associations that can be established between indicators and outcomes. Another aspect of our research is looking at the return on investment. From this we shall establish basic methodologies which will then help us move forward with expert panels to identify those indicators that we truly believe deliver better outcomes. People need good housing to contribute to society and if you don't have good housing it's very costly. So we've tried to add together what are these costs? And what are the benefits to those who actually find themselves in a house rather than being on the streets? It's a very important exercise, a piece of research that can help us become better Australians.